Hello, and welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. Today, I'm going to give you a class on quail. These are the Japanese conternix or pharaoh quail. Now, these are full grown adult quail. This one with the black spots on her chest is the female. This is a girl. This one with the brown chest is the boy. Male, female. Male, female. Okay? Now, this is my quail hutch that right at the present moment is a little overcrowded. We're under construction for the new bigger one. Which is basically going to be a hole cut out over here on this side with that gives them access to the outside. Now, all I use to build my quail cage are two by fours, half inch hardware cloth, galvanized, and screws and nails. You just build a basic rectangle, wrap it with half inch hardware cloth. Now I try to stop, I try not to cut as much as possible. So in my corners, you can see how it might bulge right here, but it literally, we beat it in with a hammer and a two by four, we folded it. And the reason why we did that was to stop a lot of the bare edges that you can get from hardware cloth when you cut it, which in returns could cause uh, injuries to your birds. So we wrapped this mamma jamma all the way around, stapled it with our uh, staple gun, Ryobi staple gun, stapled it, and it's solid. We used it for the bottom, sides, and top. Now, we learned over time to use the half inch versus the quarter inch, because the quarter inch will not let their feces go all the way through, and then it'll start to dry and get on their toes, and you just got a real big mess on your hands. Basic hinges, basic simple little hook latch for the door. Okay? Now, for our feeders, excuse me girls, I use your basic chick feeder. Quart mason jar and the round chick feeders. Same thing with the waters. Quart mason jar and a little red water in the bottom. I also go large with my water with a big, I think this is a gallon and a half, water, and maybe a two gallon. I don't remember. But in the summertime, I like to give my animals as much water as possible because here in Georgia, it gets hot. Um, I use the basic game bird feed. Uh, there, is, there is debate about which one is better, whether it's crumbles or pellets. I prefer the crumble because it doesn't seem like they waste as much. And as you can see, I have on my bottom cage <clears throat> where we just removed our baby turkeys and we put them outside, we just got a little sheet of plywood over placed over top to stop their feces from falling down on them. Now, I also have, for in the winter time, I've got a sheet of plywood on my roof and I got a basic light. Just a regular old uh, 45 watt light bulb to help them lay. Now, when I get done building on the outside, I'm also going to take the painter's trays, the rollers, where you, ro where you pour the painting and you can do your roller. I'm going to take those and I'm going to fill them full of sand and I'm going to put them up on some, on some bricks in the cage. They like to lay in the sand and plus it gives them a little sand and stuff to take a little dirt bath every now and then. <coughs> Japanese Coturnix or your feral quail are extremely great for your basic hobby farmer who's trying to put some meat in the freezer real quick or trying to turn and be able to sell something real quick. These guys begin to lay eggs at five weeks. They are fully mature at seven weeks where they're, where they're freezer ready. Um, they produce just about like a chicken, 
you get about an egg a day. Um, they're eggs and once you put them in the incubator, they are not a broody fowl. They won't sit for anything in the world. So you have to remove the eggs, place them in your incubator. And they will go for 17 days. On the day 15, pull them out of the turning trays and put them in your hatching trays and then hatch out your quail. Now they're extremely tiny when they're born. But you just let the quail be the quail and you shouldn't have any problems. I hope I answered any questions that you may have when it comes to uh, Paternix quails. Thanks for stopping by the Big Bear Homestead and we'll see you again real soon.